Today, we will continue to discuss for the past year in Chapter 17, Electromagnetic Induction. So the basic principle about this topic is the Faraday's law and the Lenz law. So Faraday's law tells us that the E is equal to dVdt, and Lenz law provides us the direction of the induced EMF. And we also learn about the magnetic flux is equal to mu r n b a cos theta, where the mu r is the permeability of the medium. And then we have learned how to use the Faraday's law to derive the induced EMF in two main applications. First is the moving conductor in the magnetic field. Second is the rotating coin. So of course, there could be other different modified questions, but no matter what it is, when it mentioned about the induced EMF, we start with E is equal to dVdt and V is equal to n b a. And then we should determine which parameters is changing along the time, such as for the first case, we have the dx dt. So we have the induced MM is equal to BLV, where V is the velocity of the conductor. And as for the rotating coil, we have the angular speed. So the induced MM is equal to NBA multiplied derivative of the cos omega t. So we shall go through one question in past year 2023. Question 12. A coil of area 1 cm square with resistance 2 ohm and 100 turns is placed in with the plane of the coil perpendicular to a magnetic field of 5 tesla. What is the average current that is induced in the coil when it is completely pulled out from the magnetic field in 0.5 second? So the thing that is changed is the area. Okay, we pull out means uh, we have a completely 1 cm square pull out in the duration of 0.5 second. So we have the ADT. So other than that, uh, we also don't forget to have the V, okay, E is equal to IR. So this is how you can get the current that is induced in the coil. So put all those values and you can you should be able to obtain the current is 0 0.05 ampere. Answer is C. And then shall move on to the next topic in this chapter, which is the self-inductance, mutual inductance, and the energy store. So you are given with the formula without need to know about the derivations. E is equal to L D I D T and V is equal to Li. So you are going to use these two formulas to derive two main formulas. The first is the self-inductance, which is equal to mu naught N squared A over L. M, mutual inductance, is the mu naught N P N S A over L P. So the P is referred to the primary, primary solenoid and S is the secondary solenoid. So you need to remember back how to derive because there could be some variables that is similar, could, could be confusing, make sure you revise about it. And last but not least is the energy store in the inductor, which is given as half Li squared. So there is a lot of questions for this topic. Let's go through one by one. The first is from 2022, question 12. The current in the 500 tons solenoid of length SCM increases from 0 to 2.5 ampere in 0 0.5 second. If the magnitude of the induced EMF is 0 0.012 volt, what is the cross-sectional area of the solenoid? So we're talking about the change in current in the solenoid. So that is the phenomenon of self-inductance. So we start with formula of E is equal to L di dt, where L is the self-inductance of a solenoid. We have derived formula just now. It is a mu naught n squared a over L. So the current change from 0 to 2.5 ampere is 0 0.5 second. So this is where we can get our di dt. So other than that, should be not a problem for you to find out all those values. Besides, we need to find A. So solving the equation here could give you the area is equal to 4.3 times 10 to negative 4 meters square. Answer is D. And then you shall move on to the next question, which is question 13. Magnetic flux linkage in an inductor is 5 Weber when a constant current of 4 ampere flows in the inductor. What is the energy store in the inductor? So we learned about the energy is half Li square, but we don't have the self-inductance. So you could use the formula phi is equal to Li to replace the L in the formula. Then we have the U is equal to half phi I. So now we have all those values. Now we have the half multiply the phi, which is 5 Weber, multiply the current 4 ampere. So the answer here will be equal to A, 10 joule. And then shall move on to the question in Ulangan paper of 2022. Self-inductance of a solenoid will not increase by. Okay, so we shall look at the formula. L is equal to mu naught n squared a of L. Okay, that is the self-inductance of the solenoid. So increasing the radius of the solenoid will increase the area, which will increase the self-inductance. So A is no. B, decreasing the length of the solenoid. Okay, decreasing the length will increase the self-inductance. C, inserting an iron rod in the core of the solenoid. Yes, okay, we have a permeability here. 
And the final answer will be D, increasing the current flows in the solenoid. So increasing the current will not affect the self inductance because we don't see any dependency of the self inductance on the current. So it will not increase or decrease the self inductance. So answer is D. And then we shall move on to the next question, question 13. An inductor store energy of 40 joule when a current 5 ampere flow through it. If the current falls to 0 in 0 0.05 second, what is the average back EMF induced in the inductor? So we have energy is half Li squared, back EMF is Li dt. So we need to find the back EMF, but we don't have the self-inductance. Okay, we only have the Di dt, which is a 5 ampere, falls to 0 in 0 0.05 second. So the information provided is the energy where we have u equal to half Li squared, where we have the L here. So replace the L here with the formula, which is equal to 2u over I squared. So we have the energy is 40 joule, current is 5 ampere. So just put in all those values and you can get the average back EMM is equal to 320 volt. Answer is C. And then we shall move on to the last question for this video, question in 2023. Self-inductance of a solenoid can be increased by inserting a pure iron core because the iron core increases. Answer is B, magnetic flux density. So we know that the iron core will provide a higher permeability and actually it increases the magnetic field or the magnetic flux density. Okay, as you can see the formula here, although we can see the L is directly proportional to mu naught okay, or the permeability of the medium, but actually the iron core affect what the iron core affecting is the magnetic flux or the magnetic flux density as you can refer to these two formula. So that's all for these chapters and thank you.